it's Jackie. Okay, so welcome to my Friday favorites. Welcome to I start every video with touching my hair and welcome to my channel. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um <laughs> so you can watch this every single day of the rest of your life. So I don't know what to tell you. This is wonderful. This is wonderful, you know, stuff that you're seeing here. So make sure you don't, you don't want to miss an episode. Um, okay. So to start out with, um, I'm going to show you what is on my nails. Uh, I absolutely love this polish. Holy moles. Okay. Just take a minute. Just take yourself a minute. Okay. Um, so now that you've admired the polish, this is by um, Maybelline, and this is their Color Show line. Um, this is called Gilded Rose, is the name of it. Um, this is what it looks like in the bottle. I have three coats of this on my nails, um, and then obviously a top coat over it, but I absolutely love this. It has like just the most unique, it's got, um, like little fine pieces of gold glitter and then it has chunkier like a light pink glitter so it really gives you that rose gold type of look um i absolutely love it uh i haven't been wearing it all week but i bought it last week yes i know this is one of my cheat things um i bought it last week and i couldn't even stand it to i'm like i just painted my nails too the day before i was like oh go figure but <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love it all week. Um, next, what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and actually um, Lynn, and she has her own makeup channel on YouTube, we'd done a swap not too long ago, and she had sent me all these like NYX butter lip glosses, which I'd never tried, because I've always heard mixed reviews about them. I love them. They smell so good. They smell like sugar cookies. Um, they have a really nice, smooth texture on your lips. They're not sticky at all. They give you a nice, beautiful wash of colors. Um, some that I've found that I have personally are more opaque than others, but I find that with these glosses, you can really build up the color really well. Um, the shade that I'm re wearing right now is Strawberry Parfait. So it looks like this. There is it swatched on my hand, and I have it on my lips right now. I love it. I love the formula of these. I'm definitely going to pick up more of these. And NYX products, even though they're sold in Ulta, that's not like a high-end line. They're really inexpensive, and the quality is amazing. So, love that. Um, next. Okay, so I'm not wearing this right now, but I've been wearing this much during the week. Um, and this is the Urban Decay Space Cowboy Eyeshadow. So that's what it looks like. Um, it has a really cute little package, and that it what that it da, 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 that's what it looks like. Um, you know, in the pan, this is just a beautiful. It's like a nude color with this silver, really fine micro glitter in it. Now I've been using this wet and what I've been doing is basically just putting this on my lid and then just doing a simple cat eye um but I mean look at the swatch of that look at how beautiful that looks I mean that glitter is so super duper fine that it almost looks like always wet I love this I feel like this is such an adult way to wear glitter um there it is swatched on my hand uh, not like I really need an adult way to wear glitter because I'll like straight up wear like craft glitter on my face practically. Mm. But I love that. It's a little pricey because obviously it's Urban Decay. So I think it was like, I want to say close to $20 for the pot of it. But you really only need such a teeny bit. And the cool thing about this shade is that I've used this also other or over other colors of um, eyeshadow to kind of give it just that little bit of sparkle and shine. So this is a good one, and that's called Spice Cowboy. Um, okay, the two primers that I've been using all week. Um, I've been using like kind of a combination of primers, and oh, I almost forgot to talk about that. Um, the first one I got in my March glam bag. It's this Pixie 
primer. It's called the Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, now this does have a little bit of glow to it and now I'm covered in glitter so it's like I can't even really give you a decent swatch of this. Um, it's you know like a nude toned color um, and it does have some really ultra fine I can't see specific sparkles in here, but I mean, definitely your face is glowy after you've put this on. So this is more of like a dewy look for under your makeup. I find these types of primer pair really well with like a more matte foundation, which is what I typically do with these like kind of sparkly primers because it just kind of brings you a glow from within your... <laughs> What is this? Please, what is... It just the glow from within your foundation and just brings it out. I don't even know what I do with my hands sometimes. Um, I drop stuff all the time, though. Um, okay, I've also been using the living crap out of this. This also Lynn sent me. Um, I had a sample size of this, and she sent me the full size of this. This is Benefits Professional. Um, this is like a more high-end concealer. The Pixie you can pick up at Target. Um, this you can get at Ulta or Sephora. And it's $30 for the tube of it, but the you have to use such a small amount and it does such wonderful things about your skin. I put this really only where I have visible pores. So I'm going to put it right on the sides of my nose. I put it on my chin and then I put it a little bit right up here in my forehead. And I really find that this just mattifies. I can put this on before or after makeup. Like I've shown you guys before, um, I have this little like, um, acne scar right there and I have glitter all over my face so I'm probably gonna like fill it with glitter but all right where is it it just like fills it in smooths it out I mean it's like wonderful I put this on after, you know, usually to fill in that scar, and I have a couple of those, um, I'll usually put this on after, but I've been putting it on before and after my foundation. I'll put it on after the other primer, before my foundation, and I love it. Um, okay, a blush. I have been using the heck out of this blush all week. Um, I'm not wearing it today, of course. I'm wearing this Coastal Scents forever blush. Um, it's a, kind of a similar shade. Um, but this is by Mary Kay. This is their cream blush in cranberry. Now this is almost like a cream to powder blush for me is like what it feels like. Um, and a lot of people have problems with cream, cream blushes and the main issue that I have from people, um, with cream blushes is they find that it kind of removes their foundation and I was having the same problem too and especially like when I was playing back sometimes on camera I'm like oh my god that's like where is my foundation underneath that blush but I was always using like a stippling brush to put cream um, blush on because I'd always heard you know from like everybody that that's the type of brush you should use well I've been using this one from BH Cosmetics it is so super duper soft okay not like the stippling brushes where you can like push on it and it's hard this totally like you barely have to push on it and it really collapses you know well I mean you can just tell the softness but what I've been doing is picking up you know a little bit of this on you know my brush obviously and just go ahead and very gently blend that out. And I find that, you know, the lighter of a touch that you have, this blends out really well. I found that this brush in particular doesn't pick up any of my, um, you know, foundation with it. It's just soft enough that it will only blend out what you have. You know, you just use the lightest touch. It blends out beautifully. Um, it looks like I have a wound here now. That's probably not the best place to swatch something red right on the inside of my wrist. <laughs> ah! But, you know, what can you do? Okay, so last on my list and also another thing that I was going to cheat on, but, um, 
for my March Madness. You guys know if you've been watching my videos that I have cheated on my March Madness. Um, I'm supposed to be doing only under $10 products and only seven a week. It's been blown a little bit, but um, I have to talk about this because it is so awesome. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, the girl behind the counter gave me two different shades to try because um, we weren't really sure. I was kind of between shades in my coloring, and I've actually been wearing them both, and... I don't know which one I'm going to go with yet. This is uh, the Ivory Beige, is that color. And then the other shade that I have is Soft Tan. So there's just a teeny bit of difference in between these two. But this has such full coverage, you have to put on like the teeniest bit. It's so nice because I can literally put on like the thinnest layer. Go ahead, I've been using um, this like Eco Tools buffing brush to put it on, which, oh, it's in the brush holder. Um, this guy, it's like a flat topped you know, brush, but I've just been basically, you know, putting it on my face and then buffing it in with this, and I love it. It is so long-lasting. It's given me such a perfected look. I find that it covers everything with just, like, the littlest, you know, I mean, I just like that you don't have to glob a whole bunch of products. Sometimes I'm putting, like, layers and layers of foundation trying to get that full coverage. This gives it to you in one thin layer. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going back. I'm buying some. Um, I will try to wait till April so I don't cheat anymore. But um, those are my Friday favorites, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye.